I'm Cheryl, and we're at G Boutique, and we're here to talk about lube for Toy Talk Tuesday. So here, this is Dana, this is Anna. Lube is one of our favorite things to sell at G Boutique for very many reasons, and we're going to tell you some of them right now. So Dana's going to start. Okay, so um, if anybody has Astroglide, KY, or ID, it is our recommendation that you throw them away because it's really important to look at the ingredients of your lubricant. Um, and what all those lubes have in them is glycerin. And glycerin is a big no-no downstairs because it has, um, when you break down the molecule, it has, it's, it's a sugar alcohol. And you want to avoid both sugar and alcohol, and let's face it, a warm, dark cave that could potentially grow bacteria. Um, the other thing is, you really want to uh, look into what kind of um, preservatives your lube has. Uh, because things that are artificial, like parabens, that can cause problems in the future. Also, if your lube is organic, it will have citric acid in it. Citric acid really can upset the pH of your vagina because your eyes and your vagina are the only self-cleaning organs. You don't want to upset the pH in any way um, because if you throw that off a little bit, you're susceptible for infections and things like that. Um, the other thing is anything warming or cooling you want to avoid because what's, what's in that to create that? even more chemicals. So a lot of times they'll use lactic acid, and again, anything acidic you want to avoid. And also, if you want lube that warms, all you have to do is put it in between your hands and rub your hands together, and it's going to get warm because, you know, friction starts right here. Um, and I think also the thing about bacteria, like we were talking about, is that bacteria growth turns in, could turn into yeast infections. So we're really anti-yeast infections. Anna? Um, so, we typically favor silicone-based lube, um, only really because it, it does its job so well. You know, water-based lube tends to absorb into your skin, it tends to evaporate, it tends to get sticky. Um, so, you know, it, it, just, it just doesn't feel right during intercourse. Um, silicone-based lube almost has a more, like, natural feeling, and there's, there's thicker silicone-based lube, or, you know, there's thinner. Um, so basically the molecule is too big to absorb into your skin, so it stays luby for a really long time, which is something that water doesn't really do so well. Um, it's also hypo, uh, hypo, oh God. <laughs> hypo, hypo allergenic. Hypo allergenic. Um, and we always it has, have a hard time saying that. Yeah, totally. It's a tongue twister. Um, and it has no taste and no smell, which is something you really want to prefer in terms of uh, lube. But you may ask, why would you choose water-based lube? Well, we have some really wonderful water-based lubes that have no glycerin and no preservatives, um, and they're actually really nice to the touch. And it's a little different than silicone-based. So we would recommend using water-based lube with silicone toys because silicone and silicone tend to fight each other and tend to eat away at each other and they don't really go well. So um, we totally recommend water-based lube with silicone toys. So we're going to just say what some of our favorite lubes are, um, and then you can try a few and make uh, your own choices. Um, Anna, you want to start? We, all, we kind of all know this, but we're going to share this with you now. <laughs> um, Anna? My favorite is pink, um, because the bottle is so pretty. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm 27 years old. I don't really want to feel like I need lube, um, so I really like it to kind of decorate my nightstand. Um, it's also really light, so in combination with my own self, um, it tends to feel a lot more natural, and it just kind of enhances what I already have. And just so you know, pink also comes in this nice little plastic bottle, which is great for travel. So, you know, Anna, you brought up the subject about age, and there's, we get a lot of customers who say, why do I need to use lube? I don't need lube. Why should I use it? And I always tell them, start using it now, so when you get older and then you need it, there won't be a big change in your life. You'll just be like... Oh, I use lube anyway. But Anna, um, as a 27-year-old, I'm older. Talk about that a little bit. <laughs> um, I really like sprinkles on my ice cream, and I always kind of feel that lube just kind of adds just a little bit extra for what's going on. Um, it's also absolutely wonderful for hand jobs. If you're not the type of person that gives hand jobs, I've got to tell you that like it really opens things up because everything else really absorbs and gets just a mess, and like this stuff really, really enhances what you've already got. It's also great for massage. Yeah, it is, because it doesn't really absorb into your skin, like she was saying. And little known fact, <laughs> lube can also be used as a defrizzer for your hair. That's right. Or to waterproof your boots. <laughs> but don't use those other things in reverse, because it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, okay, so what's your favorite lubricant? Well, I, I would say I'm... Um, 
tie. They're actually between three of them. I like Do I have to stuff. choose? Kind um, of. Swiss no. Navy, Amherst, and this, I just have to say, like, put in a good word for pure light love body glide yeah. because it's been around forever. It's one of the first silicone lubes. It's like an old standard. It works. It's not a pretty bottle, but it's a great lube. Um, I tend to like the Amherst or Swiss Navy though. They're about the, it's, they're a little bit heavier than the pink, but not really heavy. This one is way heavier. Very heavy. Now, if you're looking for something for vaginal dryness, um, we definitely recommend either the Joe or the uh, the black bottle of the Pure. Um, those tend to be really, really useful. And I just have to say a word for water-based. This is definitely my favorite water-based The best, lube. the best water-based like lube. the greatest water-based lube ever. It's, um, it's made from all natural ingredients. It's actually made from cotton. If you take it and rub it in your hand, after a while, it actually turns white like cotton. It turns into lube. Cotton <laughs> turns into lube. Cotton into lube, isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, but we love, I just think that this liquid water-based lube is, the, is one of the greatest. And second, I guess, would be Hathor. We love Hathor also. Uh, this is a really good company. And they make flavored lubes, which we don't have on the table, that are, I think, the best flavored lubes yeah. in the market. They're the yeah. healthiest flavored yeah. lubes, for sure. And they have the most so. unique flavors. Yeah, and they do. And they have the lowest calories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Dana, what's your favorite? <laughs> well, I have to say that I really agree that the Amherst is the best. I mean, no, it's not. Okay. It's all subjective, but this <laughs> one is really velvety, and it thins out really far, and you don't get kind of a sort of puckery sound after a while, which some of the lubes do. And I have to tell you, that's not like a big deal. It's just things we notice because we sample all the lubes all the time. Okay, not all the time. Don't think we're crazy. Um, but, <laughs> but this one also, I will say, nowhere on the bottle does it say lubricant. Nowhere. It's, unless you flip it over like this. So you can have this in the bathroom on your nightstand, and you don't have to clean up before your mom comes over. That's a good point. <laughs> as you can but you tell, should. You should. As you can tell, we are really, really enthusiastic about lube. I mean, for real, we could talk for weeks on end. So you can uh, buy any of these lubes on our website. BoutiqueG.com, <laughs> or you can come down to the store and visit us or give us a call. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>